ट्वेंटी एट मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर क्लास एट सोशल साइंस आंसर्स द हालमडी इंस्क्रिप्शन थ्रो इज लाइट अपॉन द डायनास्टी इज इट कदम्बा मौर्य शतवाहना और गुप्तास द राइट आंसर इज द कदम्बा दिस इज द पब्लिक पेपर आंसर अ रिवर दट डिवाइड इंडिया इन टू ऑलमोस्ट टू इक्वल पार्ट इज इट रिवर गंगा रिवर गोदावरी और रिवर सिंधु और रिवर नर्मदा द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी रिवर नर्मदा The other name of Sanatana Dharma is Buddhism, Christianity, or Hindu Dharma or Islam. It is the Hindu Dharma. Option B is the right answer. The place where Mahavir was born is it Magadha? Is it Pavapuri? Or is it Saranatha? Or is it Kundala Grama? The right option is option D, Kundala Grama. A work created by Bill Hana is it Mit? Is it मिताक्षरा और धर्मामृता और विक्रमान का देव चरिता और गदा युद्धा द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी विक्रमान का देव चरिता पॉलिटिक्स वॉज गिवन द स्टेटस ऑफ एन इंडिपेंडेंट साइंस बाय इज इट ग्रीक्स और इंडियंस और पर्शियंस और इजिप्टियंस द राइट आंसर इज ग्रीक्स सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन अ मीटिंग ओपन टू ऑल मेल एंड फीमेल मेंबर्स अबाउ एटीन ऑफ एज Is it the meeting of Gram Panchayat? Is it the meeting of Taluk Panchayat? Or is it the meeting of Zilla Panchayat? Or is it Gram Sabha? The right option is the meeting of Gram Panchayat. The year sociology was introduced in Mumbai University is uh, is it nineteen fifty, nineteen fourteen, or two thousand, or is it in the year eighteen eighty? The right answer is option B, nineteen fourteen. This was shaped or formed by farming society. Is it technology, science, villages, or cities? The right answer is villages. Option C. The latitude indicated by the line A in this picture is: Is it equator? Is it Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Capricorn, or is it Arctic Circle? So the right answer is equator. Standard time of India is based on. Is it twenty three and a half degree north longitude, or eighty two and a half degree east longitude, or twenty three and a half degree south longitude, or is it eighty two and a half degree west longitude? So the right answer is eighty two and a half degree east longitude. The snow eater is an example for planetary winds, or seasonal winds, or glaciers, or local winds. So it is a local wind. The father of modern economics is it Adam Smith? Is it A. C. Pigou? Or is it Cautilia? Or is it Robert Owen? So the right answer is option A. Adam Smith. If the total national income is divided by the nation's total population, we get is it national profit, annual income, or national income, or per capita income? So the right answer is per capita income. Singapore is the best example for imports or exports or interports or wholesale trade. So the right answer is interports. The place where the first cooperative society was established in Karnataka is it in Dwarbalapur or Kannigahala or Mysore or Belur. So the right answer is option B Kannigahala. So these are the questions. So. I'll be answering these two. The first question, seventeenth question. What was the name given to the member of the Gram Sabha during the Chola period? So, in the Chola Empire, the Sabha was further divided into many panchayats. The member of the Sabha were called Perumakkal. The members of the panchayat were called Variyar Perumakkal. So, what is role consciousness? See, consciousness is being aware of your surroundings and being able to see, taste, touch, feel, and smell. So, in this state, you can interact and react to your world. So, in an unconscious state, you are not able to interact with your surroundings. So, nineteenth question: Mention any two kinds of human societies. See, there are three main types of society. So, it is early. developing and advanced societies see early societies included the hunter gathering and the pastoral societies 
developing societies are the horticultural and agricultural societies advanced societies are the industrial and the post industrial societies so moving on to the 20th question a student buys a pen and writes with it what kind of economic activity is this so this is an consumption activity so 21st question how was hang ho river china sorrow see hang ho or the yellow river it's also famously called as sorrow of china so this is because before damming before the construction of the dam it was extremely prone to flooding so floods used to happen a lot and had caused millions of deaths so between 608 bce and 1938 ce the yellow river changed course 26 times and flooded over 1500 times so only this is called as the sorrow of china so 22nd question explain factors that influence the success of democracy factors of the success of democracy transparency of democracy the second one is it is accountable and responsible of ruling third it provides legitimacy fourth it accommodates government of social diversity fifth it provides dignity and freedom to the citizens 23rd question explain convention with example a convention is a large meeting of people who come together to discuss their work or interest or to make decision as a group for example a teachers convention a science fiction convention or a constitutional convention the most common conventions are based upon industry profession and fandom so 24th question why are the northern and southern hemispheres called as land hemisphere and water hemisphere in northern hemisphere a large area is covered with land than with water and thus called as the land hemisphere in the southern hemisphere a large area is covered with water hence it is called as the water hemisphere 25th question how can air pollution to be controlled in these days see an individual can reduce air pollution by avoiding the use of cars as much as possible and by using public transport whenever possible by not using vehicles for short distances by using clean fuels such as lpg and cng instead of diesel and petrol always disposing the garbage properly and by not burning it controlling the emissions from vehicles and household chimneys so 26th question when the demand increases the price also increases in the production field how when the demand for a product or service rises but the supply remains constant or increases at a slower rate it creates a shortage and imbalance in the market as a result suppliers may raise the prices to capitalize on the increased demand and maximize the profits so 27th question the people of sindhu saraswati civilization lived in well planned cities justify for three marks so try to elaborate the statement in the introduction part so you can compare it with other civilization of the time also so how you have to write so try to discuss and mention all the details related to their town planning like streets drainage system buildings and etc and summarize your answer in short in the conclusion part see town planning is the unique feature of indus valley civilization their town planning proves that they lived a highly civilized and developed life indus people were the first to build planned cities and scientific drainage system the indus cities were built on a uniform plan town planning was amazing in nature a few cities have citadels citadels to the west built on a higher platform and to the east of which is the hub of the residential area both of them are surrounded by a massive brick wall the streets with citadel are found on high mounds see streets the streets were straight and cut each other at a right angle they were 13 to 34 feet wide and were well lined 
the streets and roads divided the city into rectangular blocks see archaeologists have discovered the lamp post at intervals this suggests the existence of street lights dustbins were also provided on the streets these prove the presence of good municipal administration granaries the largest building in mohenjodaro is a granary which is 45.71 meters long and 15.23 meters wide see in harappa these are a series of brick platforms which form the base for two rows of six granaries each in the southern part of kalibang brick platforms have also been found these granaries safely stored the grains so which were probably collected as revenue or storehouses to be used in emergencies buildings so people of the indus valley civilization built houses and other buildings by the side of roads they built terraced house of burnt bricks every house had two or more rooms there were also more than one storied houses the houses were designed around an inner courtyard and contained pillared halls and bathrooms paved floors kitchen well etc besides the residential quarters elaborate structures have also been found one of these buildings have got the biggest hall measuring 80 feet and 80 feet wide so it might have been a palace or a temple or a hall for holding meetings the workmen quarters are also found so there were excellent system of water supply there were public wells by the side of the streets uh, every big house had its own well they also built a dockyard at lothal indus valley civilization thus has contributed many valuable imprints to the human civilization perhaps no other bronze age civilization paid so much attention to the town planning as did the harappan so the next question is draw a diagram of the globe and mark the following air pressure belts Twenty ninth question: Describe how having partnership forms is advantages. See advantages of partnership: easy formation. An agreement can be made oral or printed as an agreement to enter as a partner and establish a firm. Large resources, unlike sole proprietor, where every contribution is made by one person. In partnership, partners of the firm can contribute more capital and other. resources as required flexibility the partners can initiate any changes if they think it is required to meet the desired result or change circumstances sharing risk all loss in occurred by the firm is equally distributed among each partner combination of different skills the partnership firm has the advantage of knowledge skill experience and talents of different partners 30th question how are the benefits enjoyed by a citizen of a country different from that of a foreigner see benefits of indian citizenship there are many benefits to becoming an indian citizenship so these perks include right to vote so participation in the democratic process through voting in national state and local elections employment opportunities unrestricted access to all job sectors including positions in government and public services that may be limited to citizens property ownership right to acquire hold transfer and dispose of property in india without the restrictions placed on non citizens legal protections so access to constitutional rights and legal protections including the right to equality freedom of speech and expression and protection of life and personal liberty social security benefits so access to state sponsored social security schemes including healthcare education and retirement benefits consular support protection by indian consulates and embassies abroad during times of crisis political representation run right to run for public office offering an opportunity to shape national policy and governance cultural connection 
a sense of belonging and identification with the rich heritage traditions and shared history of india conclusion citizens are the full members of a country who owe their loyalty to that country in india article 5 to 11 of the constitution defines the citizens additionally the citizenship act of 1955 contains the provisions and conditions for citizenship india has the provision of single citizenship but various countries in the world have a system of dual citizenship so citizenship in india can be acquired by birth registration descent naturalization and incorporation of a t- territory so last question draw the outline map of india and mark the following places pataliputra punjab banavasi and ajanta 